Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Grasshopper today. The Grasshopper 5H to be more specific, and as some of you might know, this is currently the free mech that you can get when you participate in the lootback event that is going on right now, as I am releasing the video, obviously. And yeah, it's a, it's a good mech, it's a decent mech, guys. So, grab that thing, it will be a valuable asset in your mech bay. It's a, it's a really cool thing. And as it happens to be, I mean, since a lot of you get it, I want to give you a build that I personally really like, that I'm very successful with because this mech has some great great energy options so let's dive into the build here as you can see we got so seven energy hard points and we're gonna fill all of them we don't care about the one missile hard point in the head because we can only put a very small missile launcher in there so we're gonna screw that thing however the three large lasers and the four medium lasers spread all over the max give you a whooping alpha strike of 47 you might be uh, 47 is not that big you know 80 is great 100 is great but this thing here it can shoot quite often thanks to the pretty good heat management that we have here. We are not going for any endo steel structure upgrades, instead we're gonna take light ferro fibers to get some extra weight and to save some slots and with those slots we have now 20 double heat sinks that keep the mech cold and the range of the large lasers and the medium lasers as well uh, allow us to actually engage early, engage often and that means we don't have to wait for the game to unfold, we don't have to wait for getting into a brawl, we can actually participate in almost any stage of the fight which then means in return we can shoot as often as possible and therefore rack up our damage numbers. It's a really cool build guys. We also have a light engine 300 which gets us to 69, that's nice, um, kbh. Uh, as well as a targeting computer that helps us a bit with extra beam range, extra criticals and more importantly the targeting time boost so we know where to shoot, we know the weak spots of our enemies if they have any by just hitting R and now we have a better targeting time. Also we have one single jump jet here, if you think that's too little, I just want to get there to get over obstacles and to sometimes uh, you know use that to do some defensive maneuvers because when you're jumping up a little bit it messes with the enemy's aim vertically so the damage will spread to your legs a bit more not to your torso but if you want a second one you can ditch the targeting computer and get a second jump jet so that's gonna be a variation of this here. Also very important to say when we take a look at our camo spec you can see we have some waist level hard points and then there are two hard points on top of the shoulders and we want to fill our bigger weapons with those. That means we're gonna put the first weapon in there uh, should be our medium laser and the second weapon is gonna be the large laser so that they are being pushed to the high hard points. I hope that makes sense to you. So when we take a look at that here it's important to put the ER medium laser first and then the large laser afterwards because the second weapon will be on the higher hard point. Very, very important. Doesn't work with PPCs, by the way. PPCs will always be low. Because reasons. I don't know. Let's me talk about the skills before we get into the games. I think that's what you're waiting for. So we have the classic laser vomit firepower tree here. We have good chunk of heat gen on this side, heat gen on this side, heat gen down here. This is what I'm aiming for and then obviously we're gonna take some laser duration nodes and every point of cooldown and range that we can get. Honestly range in this build is not wasted. It really helps out getting from 450 meters to about 500 meters for the large lasers and it makes a big difference because you can then engage at about 600 meters, still deal half damage with all of your weapons and um, it's pretty good still. Also we have some spare points here, those were the I would say the last points that you should invest because uh, I'm aiming for more offensive things first but those defensive uh, skill points that you have here they are really helpful so we get some extra armor hardening, some skeletal density here but more important than that is maximum cool run and maximum heat containment. So get cool run 1, 3, 2, Heat containment and the ones down here. It's super, super good. Radar deprivation for defensive maneuvers. We got a UAV and a double cool shot build here on the auxiliary slots. And that is it, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more more like that and now it's time to hit the battlefield alrighty first game of the day we are playing the Solaris City we are getting into the center of the map because we are playing assault also since we are a grasshopper we can hop on the buildings isn't that great <laughs> it's super good yeah I mean we only have one jump jet in the build right now so that's okay we want to go to the left side of this whole situation here because I want to go counter NASCAR I want to see if our enemies are running into us and then we're gonna have some nice mid-range peaking poking situations hopefully we will see about that. Lots of PPCs coming from our charger here and more people are moving to the left side. I like it. I really do like going to the Delta 5 area. Also, is that the open side? I think we are on the open side here on the left. Man, I can never, never really uh, see where we are based on the minimap here. But I think we are. Are we? We might. No, we, we are not. Never mind. That's the, that's the open side. That's the right side. 
So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep my stride over to the left side here. I do not want to NASCAR. Very important on this side. So, let's get into Echo 5. Let's do that. Maybe we can find somebody. I'm gonna go for Armlock already. Did I see somebody? No, it was just an orbit around that hologram there. So, it seems like nobody's here yet. I'm gonna carefully peek to the center of the map. Nobody there. All right. So far, so good. I think I'm gonna be the first to engage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got some damage in, took some damage in return, and I think that's a fair trade. Absolutely. So, question is, is the guy alone? He has a friend, 600 meters, I'm gonna go for that. So, yeah, we have some enemies on that left side. Uh-huh, 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 give me more. Come on. Any enemies here? I think I saw somebody there on this edge, but I didn't, I guess. No. Here's the Jaguar coming in again. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, nice laser burn. I took a PPC, though, which is not that great. I want to trade with him again, though. So if he's coming out, I'm going to make myself um, very hard to hit by... Uh, yeah, just <laughs> getting him a very, very brief uh, moment to shoot me. And a very weird angle on top of that. Uh-huh. So far, so good. So here comes an, an Orion. And here's the thing. Ah, no! I'm willingly changing my position right now. Because I want to get another angle on those guys. That's a guy. That's the thing that we can shoot. Actually, I want to stay on the Hellbringer. Let's go for his left side also. Or maybe nothing because... Jaguar is here, by the way. That's bad. Um, maybe nothing because he dropped. That's what I wanted to say. So, Jaguar, I want to get one more shot on you. Cannot? All right. I guess I'm just going to ah, shoot anything that I can hit. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem when you're not fast enough with your decision making. So, let's go. We're going to probably go for the Orion to see his... Center torso is about to pop. His side torso is already gone. Problem is, I cannot move because of the stalker here. I want to fall back a little bit to second line because enemies are about to push us. And I don't want to be on the front when that happens. It's okay if the stalker and the Fafnir are absorbing a bit more. Okay, we got him. Nice. Cool. So, Hellbringer is next. Oh, let him bump into us. Another kill. Left side push. Come on, they are intimidated now. Let's do it. They are, they are falling back because we deal so much damage to them. So try to splash it in a nice wavy motion. There we go. So that guy has lost all of his weapon systems. It's perfect, guys. It's absolutely fantastic what my team is doing here. And the heater management is actually quite fine. Stay here, Irby. Don't go away. We're not done yet. Also, where's the Jaguar? I don't know. By the way, uh, I'm gonna not hunt the Urban Mech because I am here to get some more damage in by going for the main force, which is on the other side of the battlefield. So, yeah, we gotta reinforce on that side. There's a lot of stuff happening. King Crab pushing in. Okay, so I'm getting shot in the butt. That's not good. Mm, getting shot in the center. Alrighty. I guess we found the main force. <laughs> yes, we did. So, can we, can we survive this? It would be absolutely fantastic here. So get some more damage on the Stalker, get some more damage on the Crab, try to go for Santa Torso as much as possible. Uh, yeah, hotel is caught, guys, King Crab. Come on! And then we overheated? I was not overridden? Not good when a King Crab is in front of you! Not at all! <laughs> get away from me! There we go. <laughs> I thought I was overridden. I do that all the time and I guess I just forgot it this time. So, Mr. Hopper, I want to get some damage on you. 11 and 4, and last guy is our friend the Jaguar from earlier. I think we got it. I mean, again, 11 4. Let our friends have it. I'm not gonna bother anymore because I won't be fast enough to get in there at all. So, we did our job. We poked early. We got some great damage out. So, I am assuming that we got like 600, maybe even more here. But we will see in the end score. <laughs> Let's check it out. We got 750. That's absolutely fantastic. We got three killing blows, two kill most damage dealt. We got five killing assists as well as six components destroyed. Guys, that was your first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective, we are playing Domination, and I would say we're gonna directly go into the center of the map. Being there has some benefits. We have high ground, and if the enemies are super slow, we can shoot them from above into Delta 5. We have a Thanatos here, we have a very good Marauder here. All of them bring ECM, so it's really good to be there and not being able to get targeted, which means that um, enemies will have to shoot on site and decide which mech to actually hit. So yeah, that's, that's good. It gives us a bit of target diversity on top. Let's actually do it. Our assault mechs are gonna take a while, I guess. Uh, Fafnir, Cyclops, Banshee, Quick Throw is also there. Uh, there's low signal. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. So they build a firing line in Echo 5, seemingly. Cool. So, where, where are you going? Oh, no, don't stop. No, don't stop here. Oh, not great, man. No firing line, by the way. They just have a UAV. And they had a skirmisher there, so... <laughs> couldn't even hit that guy. All right. So he's behind the thing. Good to know. But I want that Mad Cat. Hey, Mad Cat. Oh, it's a brawling Mad Cat. Oh, boy. So, yeah. Guys, let's take top. It's free. It's free for all right now. Let's go for the Mad Cat again. I'm not gonna allow him to get any closer without taking damage, that is. All right. If you have artillery, drop it to Delta 4 and stay on the high ground, guys. That's how we win it. All right, let's go for that. I have the feeling that I'm gonna get shot quite soon. Guys, there's a free Atlas to Cat. Come on, yep. kill him. We're on the high ground, guys. Come, on. Come on, on the high ground. Michael. We're here. High ground, high ground. All of us. Oh, that's actually a thing I can shoot. I was like, is he behind the thing, behind the wall? But he was not. He's just standing there. All right, so that's uh, Catapult Charlie is almost down. Left side. Ah, uh, one shot, come on! Get him! No, I don't have an angle anymore. Charlie is one shot, catapult. Um, all right, let's get for... Go for the Atlas again. Right now, we cannot really hold this nicely. Uh, I need to pull back the... Where's the reinforcements? Wow! Very little people are here. Is that an urban mech with a uh, standard 60? I think it is. It's so slow. I'm not gonna shoot my... Um, my medium lasers anymore although I, I should i should really do that that Irby needs to go and we got him nice so lbx cyclops we got two kills by the way already so that's very good oh don't run in front of me when i'm doing that because it'll hurt you that's the best song in the world um guys what about the top no yes maybe uh atlas is coming around um how far i cannot really assess my team's decision right now what my team wants to do, where my team is going. And I also don't have the angle here. So, yeah, we want that Atlas, but I don't want to drop there. Not at all. So here's what we're going to be doing. Um, sorry, I'm going to quickly run through here. And there was a guy you were shooting. Fine. I mean, the enemies have kind of made full circle at this point, right? Let's go around here. Let's go around. Oh, okay. I got hit. I got hit multiple times. That means we got to deal with the Cyclops now, which is bad. Uh, actually, it's not, because we have friends that are helping us with that. Also, I don't like getting... That's you! <laughs> Goodbye, man! <laughs> so, and then the Atlas, uh, he's also here, still. We got him, nice. Turning around now, 7 and 0. Yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's a bit stompy, this game. I get it. And people don't like stomps so much. At the same time, we did the right thing in the right moment, and this is how we... Um, oh, we win the game now. Also, we are about to die because of the brawler coming up. Right, we got him. Nice. Turning around once more because there's a light mech behind us. What is that? Kilo. It's a commando. Commando is disengaging to the left side, so we're gonna try to cut his path. But yeah, he's turning around. This is the thing. They could go anywhere. They can can just turn on a dime if they want to. Uh, yeah, that's the enemy. <laughs> What's friend? What's enemy? I don't know. Also, did we lose? Oh yeah, we actually lost a large laser. Interesting. So, we are quarter of the way there. We have nobody in the circle anymore, so it seems. That means two of our enemies are... One of them is now in the center, now in the circle. Um, but yeah, we have two of our enemies still to kill, and I don't know what it is. So there was a very brief capture time for one second, and I wonder where they are. So they are probably on the outskirts of this whole situation, right? They also have one disconnect. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Again, stompy games, they happen, and that's not because... Um, I mean, it's... Oh, low signal. That's interesting. Where? There you go. Night vision. Night vision helps against stealth mechs. Um, what I want to say, Mech Warrior Online is um, is a snowball game. So as soon as you have um, as, as you have the advantage, you're just going to push it, and you're good to go. There he is. All right. Uh, stealth flee. Echo 4, Echo 5. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to go up there. And could you see how, um, how well we could see him? Because of the night vision? That was really good. So, where is he going? There he is. All right, mister. Hello, Flea. Goodbye, Flea. Oh, I saw you, buddy. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, he's trying to provoke team damage. Uh, we got some good damage in against that guy, though. And we should have him now. Yeah, that's it. Goodbye. We got him. 12-1. 
Again, snowball game. As soon as you have an advantage, because there is such a pretty high time to kill, um, and there is no healing, you cannot just single-handedly kill everybody uh, with uh, super crazy skill shots when you are outnumbered 10 by 1. It's just not possible. You cannot do it. And therefore, storms happen. So don't be too... Um, too unhappy if you get it. Just get into the next game. Anyway, we got two killing blows. We got seven assists, four kill most damage dealt, 844 damage done. We got 339 taken, only 17 damage. Interesting. I thought I dealt more here, but uh, four components destroyed. And guys, that is your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.